Hey everyone, my name is Dave Thielen. I'm the Instructional Technology Specialist Pre-K-5 at Valley View School District. Today I want to walk you through how you can have three separate screens going at the same time. Now obviously your school setup will look a little bit different than mine, but I wanted to model for you three different size screens because that's what you will have. You'll have your laptop screen like I have here. You will have an additional monitor and then you will most likely also have a larger screen, your projector screen for your smart board. And I want to show you a way of connecting all three of them simultaneously to where whether you are fully remote or in a hybrid setting, this can be a great resource and tool for you to further engage your students and create more organization for yourself. So let's get to it. Now the first item that we'll have to look closely at is exactly what cords and how to connect to the side of our computer. So you can see I have two different USB-C cords connected as well as an HDMI cord. Now the HDMI cord is going to remain the same. That is normally connected to your larger projector screen. Now yours may connect to the wall if it is with your smart board projector, but the same idea would happen here. You're still using your HDMI cord. My second cord here is actually just my charger cord for my laptop itself, so that way it doesn't run out of battery. Be sure that if you're going to charge your laptop that you are using the second USB-C port, not the first one. The reason for that is this white cord is the USB to HDMI cord that you will get. Yours will not be white, but it will be the same idea. So this side is an HDMI and it goes to USB-C to connect to your laptop. It's important that you make sure you plug this into your first slot because that is the only way that you can have three separate monitors running at the same time from this one laptop. Now the next important thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you go into your display settings and figure out exactly what screen is where because right now, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm on my monitor and you would think that if I went to the left, I would go to this screen here. But you can see that I don't. And as of right now, I have to go all the way to a right across this monitor in order to get to this one and you can see my mouse over here now. That's not how I want it. I want to be able to go to the left to get to this screen and go to the right to get to that one. So let's really quickly take a look at how that's done. Now the first thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go into my display settings to figure out exactly what monitor is where or how it's set up right now. So I'm going to right click on my desktop here and I'm going to go to display settings. Once I'm here, you can see that it shows screen one, two, and three. So there are three screens connected, which is exactly what I want. But when I go to identify right here, if I click here, you can see that right now it has it set to where one is here, two, three is over there. So in order to change that, all that I have to do is drag number three over to where I would like for it to be and then press apply. Once I do that, now if I go to the left, you can see that my mouse is over on my main screen. If I go to the right, it is now going over to the screen on my right. So that's exactly how I want to have it set up. Now, if your smart board is up above and you would rather have your screen above, you could totally do that and have this however you would like. I just prefer left to right because it's an easy system for me to keep track of. Now, one other quick thing that I wanted to make note of is obviously at the bottom, if for some reason you are not extending your display, this will not work. You won't see all three screens. So make sure that you are on the extend in multiple displays section. Also, right below that, there is a little checkbox that says, make this my main display. Just so you know, right now, your laptop screen is set as your main display because it's the first screen that was connected, obviously. If you wanted to change that, you could. All you'd have to do is like, let's say I want my additional monitor because that's something that students won't always see. I want to make that my main display. I could do that. And what that's going to do is it's going to move all of my desktop icons over to that monitor. So now if I minimize this screen here, this was my main display before. And now you can see all of my icons have been moved to the other monitor. Now keep in mind, if you do this, the only thing that is also going to change is your lock screen. So if you're connected to the second monitor and you turn on your computer in the morning, your lock screen is going to appear on that additional monitor. So make sure that your additional monitor is on too. Otherwise, you're going to be looking to see where do I sign in my laptops on, but I don't see my lock screen where I sign in normally. That's probably because it's on your additional monitor. So keep that in mind. If you choose to do this, that's fine, but just keep that little piece in mind. Now that we have all screens connected and we're good to go there, I wanted to give you a quick example of how you could go about using this in a remote setting as well as a hybrid setting. So what I have right now is I have my Zoom call on my main laptop screen. I have a video that I'd like to play 
for my students remotely. And I also have other things going on on my additional monitor that is just for me. So I have like my email, I have some other things that are up and running so that way I can keep track of those things throughout the day without students having to worry about seeing them. So it kind of puts a little bit of ease on me and a little bit more organization amongst the screens. Now, if I wanted to go about sharing my screen, when I press share screen, I'm now asked which screen I want to share. And I would look to see which one is the video because that for me is screen three. I would press screen three and I would press share. Now you can see right now that it says sharing screen three and I know it's very small for you, but I can go about using all the different options on this screen and I can drag this box if I want to anywhere that I want to. So now it's over here and this is all of my zoom settings. I could put it over here as well if I wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to want to do that if I also have students in the classroom if it were in a hybrid setting. I would keep this over here. In addition, what's really great about having an additional screen is that you're sharing your screen over here. So you can play this video for students, whether they're all remote or whether some are in person, but you also have the opportunity to see all of your students on one of these two screens, whichever you choose. I would leave it on the laptop screen because your camera is also right there. So that way, if a student asks a question, you're not gonna look foolish, like looking up here, looking at them, and then looking down to answer their question. Instead, it's all happening right there. So I would actually leave the students here, but if you wanted to, you could change it up. If you really wanted, you could have all of your students on your big screen so you could see their faces a lot bigger. And what you could do is you could have your screen share going on here. It's totally up to you how you want to go about working this. You also wanna keep in mind that you wanna be able to see all three screens regardless of what's going on. So if you have students in the classroom later down the road in a hybrid setting, you would wanna make sure that you're always sharing this screen because this is the screen that in-person students will see that's nice and big. This is also what your speakers will be connected to. And you will also be sharing that same screen for your remote students on Zoom. So that way you get the best of both worlds and you still have an additional screen that is your own screen that no one else is going to see or pay attention to. So if you wanted to, you could have these two screens kind of angled off to the side or facing this way to where you can see all of your in-person students, see both of your screens, and still see the screen that all the students are seeing. It's up to you how you want to go about setting this up for your class. Now, one other thing that's nice about having your laptop screen be your Zoom screen is if you were to share screen and press whiteboard that you're going to share, I'm actually able to use the touch screen feature. So right now I'm using my touch screen. So if I was doing a math problem or something like that, I wouldn't be able to use the whiteboard touch screen feature if it was on one of the other two screens. So this is another reason that I like to leave the Zoom main features on my laptop screen, but that is totally up to you. This would be more if you were in a fully remote setting. Now just to give you a couple other ideas, I wanted to give you a couple models of how this could run if you were doing three or two screens. Here's the setup that I had originally in this video where the projector screen is to the left. I also have my laptop and my additional monitor. The teacher would want to be able to see all three of these. This would be if students are fully remote, so that way you'd be able to move, for example, a table a little bit further back, see all of the screens and not have to worry about students also being in person. So there's one example. Another example could be if students are fully remote, that you have students on their faces on the smart board screen to where those are nice and big and that smart board is actually in front of you. And then your laptop and monitor could be used as two other separate screens that you're using for your screen share or other resources that you like to keep up, like your email, attendance, those types of things. Another idea, if you're fully remote, if you're not comfortable yet using that third screen, you could always just use two and you would have students' faces on one and whatever you are sharing on the other, as well as other personal things that you don't want for students to see. So you could try this first. If the three screen idea makes you a little bit more uncomfortable, you can do that later. Another option that I have would be if you are in a hybrid setting, this would be anything that is going to be shared for students must be on the projector screen, the big screen, because that's what in-person students will see as well as the students at home. And then you could have your monitor and laptop off to the side to where you are still seeing all of those things such as the at home learners, but the students in person can also get the best of both worlds. Lastly, I wanted to give you an angled idea. So if you had your table on an angle and you had your monitor and laptop on this table, that way the teacher is facing outward can still see all the students in person. 
but the uh, your laptop right here is exactly where your students' faces would be, and that's where your camera is. So your students can still see the teacher that are at home, but your hybrid learners can still see you as well, and everybody can hear you, and all of that good stuff. Anything that is shared, though, must be on the projector screen, so that way all students can see and hear. Now, this really just scratches the surface of all the amazing things that can be done with the utilization of multiple monitors, especially when you have three screens rather than just two. So more information is going to be coming out in the upcoming weeks and all sorts of other cool things that you can do utilizing three monitors. But hopefully this got you started in thinking on how you can connect all three screens and utilize these to create further organization and even more student engagement since you have a couple additional things to play with. Hope this helps. We will see you guys soon.